Hey guys, it's Clark Beach over here. Today I have another Airsoft Club sponsored Airsoft review. Today we're reviewing the CQC Glock 17 holster. Now I did a review of this one of these products uh, for an M9 a little while ago because I wanted to get one for my M9 Beretta. But this time, since I have a WEG 17, I thought I might want to, might want to try out a Serpa holster, see what I see what I like about it, and uh, use this actually at the um, op that I went to, um, and uh, worked out pretty good. So. I do have another accessory for this that you can mount it in a different way uh, that I also got from Airsoft Club and I'll show you guys that in a little bit. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video of this video review of this uh, pretty nice holster. This Clarin P24 Airsoft review is brought to you by AirsoftClub.com. Alright guys, so the CQC Glock 17 holster costs $18.99 on AirsoftClub.com. It's also available in black, um, so in case you need to get a different color. Um, comes with two different mounts, this belt mount, which you can basically just put your belt through these loops and you can adjust it uh, however wide your belt is with these little adjustment things. Problem I had is with this one, uh, the screw would not come out, it's kind of stripped the screw out itself, so kind of a pain. It also comes with this paddle sort of uh, um, mount, and this one actually grips inside of your pants and clips on to like the belt, whoops, as I fail, dropping it, um, it clips on so it's, it's like that, just with three screws, I only have two installed on here right now, um, and you can actually adjust the angle that it's carried at, so you can kind of grab the pistol, G17, you can adjust so it's, say that's on, adjusted at the belt, or you can make it go forward, push it, there we go forward like that or you can make it go in the middle um, just you can just all adjust it all kinds of different ways I just like it going straight and sometimes I like it going you know forward a little bit holds the pistol in nice and tight see it's just very stiff to pull out um, and there's this locking thing so basically what you do is when you're when you have it on your belt you grab it your hand naturally falls right onto this little piece push that pistol slides out. So if you're new to using a surfa, you need to just train your muscle memory to pull that open. Alright, um, the other feature I have, this is called a strike mount. This is the another product from airsoftclub.com. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head about how much it costs, so it should be like on your screen right now. But what this does is basically takes your holster, takes off the back part, and it allows it to be mounted on molly, so say like a vest or something. I got it so I can mount it on my chest rig in the center, mass of it, so it's mounted here. I have my pistol like this, and then I can just pull it out um, need, when uh, need be. I don't have my chest rig here right now, so I'm unable to show you guys what it's like. So I'm sorry about that. But basically, what it does is you slide it in like this. So this whole panel is facing out, and then you pull it up a little bit, and these little tabs clip right into the strip of the molly. Then you screw in your thing. And uh, as you can see, there's lots of different holes, so you can put it at all different angles and whatnot. Um, I mean, stuff like that. It's very cool. So these are made by uh, made in a made out of a very nice, durable plastic. It's nice and texturized, so that's what I like with a holster. Um, just a good pro and a, that I like with this is you know it keeps your pistol secure on your belt, and um, just they keep it, it keeps it nice and locked in. Just a con for some people don't really like is uh, some seam lines on here, of course, because it's made in China. It's not a US made holster like the real ones are. But you can get the real ones pretty cheap if you guys want to spend off a couple, uh, some extra money. These I would recommend if you're buying a product from airsoftclub.com and um, you just, you want to get just something else. I mean, I'd recommend getting a holster regardless. Um, but you can run it in like a mag pouch or something, but holsters are always good to have. So, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video on the CQC holster for the Glock 17. Please subscribe so you can see all these new Airsoft Club videos that are going to be coming out soon. I'll be sh for sure having a loadout video of my KSK loadout. It's almost complete, around 95%. So should be a video coming out pretty soon. I'll also have a review of this gun, my, t my WEG 17. Should be getting some different parts for it. But other than that, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys later.